Yo, Elliot, my question regards fine tuning your business details around your clients' needs. I run a pole vault club where athletes of all ages come to pole vault because it's fun and challenging. <clears throat> As a seasoned athlete and strength coach, I can suggest different kinds of supplemental workouts, which will be beneficial for each individual. Working only on technique will hinder their performance. However, nobody looks forward to sprints, pull-ups, and jumping. My options are to be strict about mandating conditioning exercises or to give the people what they want when they come into my practice. Thank you for your time and wisdom. So it's a little bit of both, right? Uh, you got to tell people what they want to hear, but give them what they need. Have you ever heard that, right? This is analogous to, you know, my dog. I have to give my dog heartworm medicine, right? The dog doesn't want to eat the heartworm medicine. It tastes bad and probably, I don't know, makes him have like, you know, doggy tummy aches or something. I have no clue. My dog doesn't want the freaking medicine. So what I got to do is I got to put the, I got to figure out what the dog will take the medicine in, right? So I put it in some cheese, I put it in some peanut butter, put it in a donut or something, whatever will make the dog eat it. I'll give it to him, right? And it's the same thing when you're dealing with your clients. You know what they need. I know what you need and I know you don't want to do it. Let's find a way I can sneak it in, right? So for example, you give them workouts that they like, but you sneak in one of two things that they don't like, right? So if you're doing a circuit, it's like, hey, I know you guys really love doing X, Y, and Z and you hate doing A, B, and C. So we're going to do X, Y, and A. Right. And they're like, oh, that sucks. But they're excited to do all the others. And then they got to take their medicine. Hey, it's time to take the medicine. At least I wrapped it up in something that you enjoy. Right. Find ways to make things that suck enjoyable. Right. And it could be the way you engage with them as a coach. Right. You can explain to them and sympathize with them saying, I know you hate this, but it's going to take five minutes and you're going to be so happy when you're done. You're going to feel great. And guess what? It's going to improve your performance. If you want to be a top level Olympic pole vaulter, then take your medicine. Let's do it. Right. That's another thing, too. Uh, and I know as coaches, sometimes we the reason why we're coaches is probably because we know how to do what we have to do, whether we feel like it or not. Right. So you were probably very good at pole vaulting because, you knew, well, you know, I don't want to get up early and do these extra workouts. But I want to be a great pole vaulter, so I'm going to do it. Sometimes our clients don't have that. They just don't have that impetus, right? They want everything to be easy, right? The world has told them that, you know, it, it's supposed to be fun and easy. And nobody wants to do anything that's uncomfortable. So in a way, as a coach, it's your responsibility to, to plant the seed in their mind about what's going to be on the other end of this, right? Right? I know you don't like doing this, but think about when you win that medal. Think about when you dominate that dude that beat you last time. Think about, right? Imagine yourself, right? And get mad, right? And that's another way to get someone to push through in their exercises is by giving them emotion, right? Either aspirational emotion or uh, a negative emotion, like a moving away from, right? So what do I mean by that, right? You're either moving towards something, and some people are very motivated to move towards th something. That's a rare type of person. Most people are motivated to move away from something, right? More people are, are interested. It's easier for people to move away from a pain than towards a pleasure, <laughs> right? This is why people are depressed. It's like, eh, you're not... You're not willing to get off the couch because it's, it's uncomfortable, but unless there is, you know, if there's something, there's some reason to get off the couch, it won't get them off the couch. But if their doctor says, you're going to die because you're so fat and lazy, then they'll, uh, uh, begrudgingly, right? So you can use that with your clients. Hey, do you remember last year when that kid from the previous university whooped your butt and you could have won? Remember that? Let that sink in. Don't ever forget that, right? And you remind them, right? You can kind of poke and prod them a little bit. Hey, you remember when you lost last year? That was totally unnecessary. You did not need to lose. The reason why you lost is because you didn't want to do this workout. Are you going to be satisfied with that again this year? Are you going to be okay with losing again because you feel lazy in this moment? Can you not set aside momentary, momentary pleasure for long term? Right? momentary, I'm sorry, momentary pain for long-term pleasure, right? This is, this, is, this is tough for people. 
But it's your job as a coach to remind them of that, right? And then you have the people who are really aspirational. Every once in a while, you have an, an athlete that really wants to win. And it's not that they had a trauma that they're running away from. It's not that something bad happened that they're trying to overcome. It's that that person is just so goal-oriented that all you got to do, do you ever know these people? You don't have to, as long as you tell them, this is good for you, it's going to help you win, they'll do it. You could tell them, hey, uh, eat this cow manure. Yeah, cow manure's got all kinds of probiotics in it. It's good for your gut. It's going to help the food that you eat digest. And because cows only eat grass, it's going to, you know, you can make up whatever BS you want. And they'll be like, oh, well, if that's going to help me win, I'll do it. I'll do it, whatever it takes, right? Those, I mean, it's a double-edged sword, but those are, those are great clients to have, right? They'll do anything you tell them. And if you have their best interest in mind, they're going to do it. So, once again, kind of just coming full circle. <laughs> uh, with your clients that struggle, you got to give them, you got to give them a spoonful of sugar to make the medicine go down. You got to give them something that's pleasurable, even if it's on their own mind, to allow them to engage in the things that you know are good for them, right? Just like my dog. And if you really got to push them, remind them how bad it sucks to be a loser, and then maybe they'll get off their butt and go. And sometimes clients are just no good, right? I mean, sometimes you got to fire clients. It's like, I can't get through to this kid. I can't get through to this person. I don't know what it is. What do you need? What can I tell you to get you off your butt and want to do these things, right? You don't have to want to do. Here's another thing, too. And I think, I don't know, you know. Of course, you know, the 80-year cycle, good times create weak men, weak men create hard times, hard times create strong men. I really believe that we're on this cusp right now of good, hard times coming, right? It's, it's even in the zeitgeist. It's a sense that hard times are coming, right? They're not hard yet, but they're on their way. And I think your generation, right? I think you, the men that are in their 20s, early 20s, uh, right now are going to be the generation that craves strength, right? Because you've seen what weakness does to the millennials. All right? it's, it's a whole generation of weaklings. Um, and then the Gen Z, that generation, it almost seems like you guys want austerity, right? It's something strange about that. You're going to find, and I've been finding that young men want hard things. They want challenging things. They don't want things to be easy. They want somebody to give them some kind of like austerity, some kind of challenge, something to live for, something to fight for, something to just get up and get going about, right? Even if it means that I got to get busted up, beat up, and, and, uh, and, and it's hard, right? I know I crave that. I've always craved that, right? Sometimes I eschew life. I hate my life because it's so easy. It makes me sick. Right. And, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a bit of a masochist, <laughs> to be honest with you. And this whole idea that, you know, collapse is coming and the, that the apocalypse is on its way and doomsday and people are going to starve and it's going to be hard. Man, a part of me is like, yeah, that's right. Right. And that's going to get rid of a lot of weaklings. Right. And that's going to allow those who really have that fire on the inside, that strength that has been laying dormant to rise up, to rise up and come up, and be strong men where we've only been weak. So I think you're going to I think you're going to do well, because I think that you're, there, there may be there may be many young men out there that want to do the hard thing because it's hard. I want to do it because it's hard. Don't give me something easy. Give me something that sucks because you know what that does to your soul makes you stronger dude so hope that helps done yo it's your bro elliot i hope you enjoyed that video if you did you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent king transformation classes with my students where among other things we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness business and with women if that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age then it's real simple just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.